This indictment just unsealed here by a grand jury uh, in Washington. Let me bring in Seth Waxman now and just get your perspective on what's happening here. Uh, Seth, what we've seen here in this indictment, again, you're going through it now as, as we all are, but help us understand your sense of, uh, of the significance of it. Yeah, sure. So for me, what's significant is that Bob Mueller's investigation has focused on two separate elements. One is the obstruction post-election mm -hmm. and what happened prior to the election, this conspiracy between the Russians and the Trump campaign to influence that election. And, and I know over the past several weeks and months, the obstruction side of this has gotten a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. But what this brings us back to is what I think is at the core of Mr. Mueller's investigation, which is the criminal conspiracy between the Russians and the Trump campaign to influence that election. In other words, to have an obstruction case with no underlying crime, frankly, is not much of a criminal case from a prosecutor's perspective. Mm -hmm. But now what we see with this extensive Russian indictment, uh, a focus yet again on the pre-election conduct. And of course, as one of your uh, commentators just said, well, one of the outstanding questions is, is this linked in any way to Trump and his team? You know, what we have are, it appears from the indictment, um, Russians kind of taking it upon themselves to do things to influence the election, but if that was guided or abetted or assisted in any way from Trump or any of, the, of his operatives, then it becomes much more central to uh, Mr. Mueller's investigation into the White House itself. Uh, Ken Delaney, and I'll turn to you once again, our national security and intelligence reporter there in Washington, D.C. I think that's an important point that the sex, Seth Waxman just made there. Uh, when you look at the, how all of this got started, the genesis of this special counsel's investigation, it was that. It is what's being described in the indictment we're seeing here today. Russia's role here in influencing the 2016 presidential election. That's right, and that has always been one of the mandates. It's not the one we focus on as much because obviously, obviously the question of whether members of the Trump campaign colluded with Russia is a hugely important question, but it's always been part of Robert Mueller's mandate to figure out how the Russians did it.